Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm going to show you how to get a live view of your phone's logcat as a boot animation. To put it simply, a logcat gives you a glimpse of all the things going on behind the scenes on your Android device. Every command that's executed and any errors that occur will be captured in the logcat. So it's a pretty in-depth look at what's going on with your phone's software. Now why would you want this as your boot animation, you ask? Well, if you're ever in a situation where your phone gets caught in a boot loop, being able to see a live version of your logcat would really come in handy. It'll let you know exactly what's causing the boot loop, and you can use that information to hopefully get back up and running. Or, if you're unfamiliar with the inner workings of Android, it's at the very least a good way to see the massive amount of work that goes on behind the scenes. So to get this going, you'll need to be rooted for one, but if you need any help with that, I've got some guides that you can use over at the full tutorial. You can find that at the link in the description below this video, so head over there if you need any help at all. Then to get started, go ahead and install the app Live Boot by Developer Chainfire. It's on the Play Store and it's free, so let's go ahead and check it all out. Now when you first run the app, it'll ask for super user access, so go ahead and tap Grant here. After that, Live Boot will tell you one of two things. That you need to install the boot script, which is what it's saying here, or that you need to update SuperSU before proceeding. If you get the second message, make sure that your SuperSU app is up to date on the Play Store. After that, run the app, and if it wants to update the super user binaries, go ahead and let it do that too. Then when you come back and open Live Boot again, you'll see this message. So tap Install to get the Live Boot script installed on your system. Now this is a very familiar interface if you're used to SuperSU, because it's the Chainfire app just the same. But the first thing you should check out in here is Logcat. This gives you options on what aspects of the Logcat you'd like to show in your boot animation. You can leave them all checked, or you can set it to just show errors, for instance. It's all up to you. Then if you scroll down a little bit further, you can adjust the amount of lines that are shown on the screen during boot. So if you want the animation to scroll by faster, go with a smaller amount of lines. Or if you're having trouble reading things that fast, go with a higher number here. And then in the future, if you want to switch back to your regular boot animation, you can use this uninstall button right here. Beyond that, you can even freeload. This is a cool feature that Chainfire puts in most of his apps, and it basically gives you all the pro features for free. But at the same time, I'd seriously suggest shelling out the $2.49 for the actual Pro version, because Chainfire is one of the best developers we have on the Android platform, and we need to support his work as much as we can. But when you enable Pro either way you go about it, you'll see a new option for transparency. With this one turned on, you'll still see your regular boot animation in the background of your live Logcat boot animation, so it's a pretty neat little bonus. Other than that, we just need to reboot the phone to see the new animation. Alright, so now you see the live Logcat going on in the foreground, with the regular boot animation in the background. Errors are shown in red, and before you freak out, know that at this level every system has errors. It's unavoidable. But if you were seeing a bunch of red lines right before a boot loop occurred, you could at least see what was preventing your phone from booting. And at the same time, it certainly looks pretty cool, doesn't it? But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.